roofing season is about to start. Dan cleaned out the fur freezer, so I need to start flushing. I think he said he's got 10 hides. There's possum, two or three coyotes, and a bunch of raccoon. And I need to get all these flushed and salted and start tanning them. This is going to be a team effort because 10 hides is a lot, especially when I am still very new to this. But this is number one. I'm going to start with the possum. Hopefully <laughs> this goes well because obviously it's been since last winter since I was doing this. I didn't film step by step of the tanning process of these guys so I'll just show you a few clips from this and then at the end of the video I'm going to show you a few clips from some new critters that we have collected and have been working on. That has been pretty exciting and interesting. <laughs> So these hides are on their pickling bath day, so they're looking good so far. Again, it's just kind of, I'll tell as I go how these turn out. Nine hides at once is a lot for me, especially considering I only finished out three <laughs> total last year. I got them going, and I got myself a little whiteboard, and I wrote the instructions on here, because otherwise I was reading them off <clears throat> the new tan bottle every time and it's pretty dirty so that'll be easier I can just reference that as I need to so I videoed a bit of how Dan gets his traps ready for trapping season and I'll show you guys that and the first step is obviously boiling them you want to do that to get any scents off that they could pick up just over the years sitting in the shed and then he dyes them this stuff smells really bad <laughs> I can't remember what type of dye he said it was, but I just remembered he dumped it out and I was like, oh, that stuff stinks. This is my first time kind of hanging out while he did this. So I hadn't had to experience that lovely smell <laughs> before. And then once that's all set for however long you do it, I don't know how long I'd have to ask him. Brings him in, sets him just to kind of cool off. <laughs> And then he props them open so that when for this next step he's waxing them so this will keep them like firing properly no matter what the weather is and it prevents them from rusting but yeah that little piece i don't know what it's called goes in between the jaws just to keep it open so the wax coats evenly on everything and then once that's dried he puts them in these baggies just to keep them scent free until he's ready to use them Okay, it has been a few weeks since I worked on tanning these guys. They took a lot longer to dry and soak in the tanning solution than the ones I had done before. I'm not sure if I just put too much tanning solution on them or if it's because it's been warmer and more humid. I'm still really new to this, so I don't know, but I will show you how everything turned out. It's not perfect because, as I said, I'm still new to this, but to get, you know, hung up on the top of the shop wall, no one will know what's wrong with them. It's our little secret, so shh. So here's the possum. He turned out pretty good. He's got a hole right there. I asked Dan if he wanted me to sew it up, and he said no, because it's going to, like I said, <laughs> go up high on the wall, and no one will know. And the raccoons, quite a few. I do need to work on not getting so much of the tanning solution in the actual fur, because it is really hard to get that cleaned out. Again, I could try to wet just the fur down and wipe that out, but because they're getting hung up so high, I'm just gonna, it, it is what it is. Um, some of them, their faces, I, I mean, I need to figure out how to work their heads, I guess, better so they don't get so hard and crunchy and immobile. <laughs> but it's all a learning process. Like this coyote, his eyeballs got kind of messed up. Other than that, looks pretty good. This raccoon, he looks really rough. <laughs> I can keep working on it. And again, look at how big that eyeball got. And he's a bobtail. But some of these smaller raccoons, um, I have a buddy that actually wants a raccoon fur hat. So I think Dan wants to keep three of the coons. And then I will pick the other three and attempt to make a raccoon hat. It could be a spectacular failure. It could be really cool. I guess we'll see on that front. Here's the other coyote. I just finished him up this morning. 
I definitely need to time out like my flipping the furs in and out and working it a little bit better because it gets to like the last bit and it's really hard to get these pulled back through and it's really hard to get the heads pulled back through and then I end up having boo-boos happening just from all the pulling so I don't know I need to work them more as they're drying is probably the answer to that problem but it's a really pretty coyote I just got to brush them out really a little bit yet and then he will get hung up over here I kind of have a disaster I'm working on a buddy picked up a hit and run fox and asked us to tan it I am attempting but I'm having a lot of slippage of the hair especially on the tail when I like cleaned it off a big old chunk just came out I'm hoping I can salvage the rest of it and maybe he can just buy a replacement tail we'll see but that's one of my projects I have right now and then this is the big project I've been doing right now there's one two three four beavers and a skunk and one full beaver tail and then one half the beaver tails are really hard to split, so those got screwed up enough that this is all we ended up with. So I'm going to attempt to tan them. The skunk was a roadkill find, and Dan thought we should try and tan it. The beavers, he's trapped over the last week. Um, I'm going to go with him a couple times while he's checking traps and maybe just get some footage of doing that. But this beaver was huge. Like, we weighed it 66 pounds. Big freaking beaver, and it took me forever to get him flushed out all the way and I helped him skin the beavers because that takes a while like they're big we had beaver meat for dinner last night so good we just kind of fry it with some flour and butter and very very tender but yeah that is the projects it's officially trapping season and I am tanning hides as fast as I can get them really so here is some bonus footage this is Dan's first three beavers he got this year so far he got the fourth one I think the day after he got these three but those are the two little ones and then there's this this is the giant 66 pounder he was just a big beautiful beaver or he she I don't know what it was and then I did film a little bit of him skinning the skunk I didn't film the whole thing mainly because it smells terrible and I didn't want to sit there <laughs> through the whole process but yeah roadkill skunk and of course we needed to tan that because why not guys i mean why not let's just we're gonna have all the critters in the collection i guess here <laughs> by the end but it's going okay so far 